Hey, this is Nick. While working on improving my coil gun charger, I ended up building a crude but effective AC inverter. Basically, right now I've got it hooked up to a uh, 12 volt wall supply, but you could just as well use a uh, lead acid cell or something like that. It's really simple. I've got an Arduino over here, which is switching on and off those IGB ter transistors in the back. Uh, the variable resistor there is used to control the frequency. Uh, so those transistors switch power into this center tap transformer back here. This would normally be a drop down or a step down transformer, but uh, in this case I got it hooked up backwards. So by switching 12 volts into either phase of that, you end up with 120 volts out. If I put this on, I've got it set to about 9 volts. Bring up frequency here. I can get that down to 60 hertz or near enough. And if I plug a radio in, you can see it works. Perhaps somewhat more impressively, here it is running off of a uh, 9 volt battery. On the ABC News, I'm Daria Aldinger. It may still be hard to find. And I will switch everything around here in a moment so you can see a light bulb. Okay. This is an appliance light bulb out of a microwave. It is considerably more uncooperative. I have to interrupt half of the phase and then turn it back on and then it works. I don't really understand that, but it does stay lit. So. Yeah, must be outputting some really weird type of AC, probably really choppy and noisy, something like that. Uh, anyways, uh, next thing. Alright, here goes the fan. Now we start to see the limits of the system as this thing's uh, current indicator is blinking over here. It's capping out at about 2 amps, 12 volt input, so we're not getting nearly enough output there to spin that up to full speed. But it is trying at least. So, looks like this thing would be good to about maybe 10 or 15 watts at most. But I think it's interesting to see just how little components you can get away with to build one of these things. Anyways, that's about it.